Chapter 10. Moonwood harvesting was not only utilized in ancient Rome. After the first book was published, Dr. Toma was unexpectedly visited by a delegation from Japan led by the highest monk of the Japanese Buddhist monastery, Horyuji. The monastery is home to the world's oldest wooden buildings, erected in 607 AD. As it turned out, those buildings had also been built from moonwood. The head of the monastery wanted to become acquainted with Dr. Toma's technology because one of his students had left him with a copy of Dr. Toma's book. After observing everything, the monks left with a word that Dr. Toma is turning the wheels of something great because Buddhists believe that one should live in such a way which does not leave any traces behind. Since Dr. Thomas' technology does not harm the environment and does not leave waste throughout its entire life cycle, it certainly aligns with their principles. At the end, the monk promised his support. Dr. Thomas said goodbye, but questioned how they would be able to support him all the way from Japan and did not expect to hear back from them. However, two weeks later, a Japanese publisher called to inform Dr. Toma that he received publication orders for a Japanese translation of his book. Following its publication in Japan, Dr. Toma started getting orders for Holes 100 from Japan. At this time, entering the Japanese market for building materials was considered virtually impossible even for large corporations, let alone such a small company like Dr. Toma's. To build houses in Japan, however, one needed to get the most restrictive certificate for earthquake resistance. Japan has at its disposal the largest platform for simulating seismic shocks, which was where Dr. Toma's employees built a Holes 100 house for testing. Dr. Toma couldn't be present for the testing, and he was very surprised when his employee called him to say they failed to get certified. The certificate is only issued when the tested house falls apart. That's the seismic level at which the construction fails is determined. However, Dr. Toma's house withstood the highest level of seismic shocks that could be simulated. The structure of the house had to be weakened by removing some of the connecting pegs so the house could fall apart so the certificate could be issued. The certificate they finally got was of the highest safety class that can be obtained in Japan. This is the Haramura Church. It's near Fukushima in Japan, which withstood a well-known earthquake. Moreover, it's capable of surviving typhoons with wind speeds of up to 200 kilometers per hour. One should know that for concrete, it is irreversibly damaged once it passes the breaking point. Wood, on the other hand, flexes and shifts into the elastic phase and then returns to its original form. Mm -hmm.